Good morning, everyone. It's been a long time since I've been on YouTube for a while, but I'm out to Cuyahoga Valley, and this is, well, I, oh, I'm going to have to pause you, I think, so I can reverse it and then record some more so I can show you what my sunrise looks like. That's my morning, but unfortunately in video mode, that sucks. For what I'm able to see. That is just way too bright, and I cannot adjust the ISO on that one. Or the shutter speed for that one. Alrighty. I'm down in Cuyahoga Valley. And... And I'm going that way, down to the canal. And as you see, I've got my little stuff going here. Alrighty. Got some little ducky down here in the canal. Two families right there. <laughs> Still heading down to the... And just having some fun. Okay, I'm down down here at the Lock 39. And taking a quick break real quick here. Had to take a quick pee break. Just down here at the parking lot. Just stretching my legs a little bit and heading back on. All right, a little bit later. I decided to stop at lock 37. Real quick here. I see this got some, oh, there's a good deer. I don't know where he came from, or she. But we got some new boards, real lively. And I just remembered, I forgot to bring my polarizer with me for my regular camera. However, I do have a polarizer attached to my limited edition 35 millimeter fixed aperture of 1.2 49 millimeter thread. It's a macro and 35 millimeter normal. It's a combo, limited edition. But, yeah, I at least have that, if I really need it for later on. Alrighty, time to continue on. My bike, of course, I'm just having fun. Alrighty, I found out that I do not have my polarizer on that lens. That's on my other lens. I'm forgetting quite a bit, but as we see here, I'm at 1800th, F8, ISO 400, and they are way out there. Beautiful shot right there. And, put you back on. I think I got that. Okay, I made to partial of the swamp area. Still have a lot of crap here to deal with and set my bike down for a while. Oh, we have swans back here too. I don't know if you're gonna be picked them up. Look at that. Oh wow. Definitely definitely beautiful spot here. Let's see if I can't zoom in.
That's about the best I'm gonna get out of that. Okay, still, beautiful area. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. Good sized swamp. But now I gotta break out my camera. And I might have to break out my 35 millimeter just because that has the polarizer on it. And it's got some beautiful pinks up there in those pinks and purples. You can see it in, the, in this here. Look at this, absolutely just gorgeous. All right, I gotta let you guys go. Hello again. Okay, right now I'm at the Brexville station, train station here. I'm gonna go across the train tracks over there for a little bit. There's a little swampy section. I'm gonna get the camera out and see what I can capture. Hoping I don't have to go up to my knees with mud. That would not be good. Alrighty, let the adventure continue. Okay, I'm in a section to where I think, I'm almost positive, to where Cook Falls is at. I already got my feet wet. A little bit. Good thing I have an extra pair of socks. So I'm not sure what to expect, but I might actually have to set the bike down a little bit and go from there. And then come back. I mean, this is pretty rugged territory here. Beautiful, but rugged. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, it's a little nice right there. Took that. But yeah. I don't think anyone comes back here, so I'm pretty sure my bike will be fine. I mean, I don't think anyone comes back here. I mean, other than deer, maybe. I mean, look at that. That's... The towpath is way over there. It's about five... Eh. Are you just seeing a little guy over there run past, so I might actually have to put my bike a little bit further over, maybe over here, lay it down over there, in that little ditch area, just, and then continue on that way. You know what, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to put you guys down, or put it away actually, and then set this off to the side there, and then continue on that way, because I've never been over here by Cook Falls. Alrighty, let's see what we can do here in this mess. I'm not sure what am I doing, where am I going. I just know I'm going, following the creek to the best I can here. A lot of small holes and whatnot. Okay, that's not gonna work. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> I think I have to follow. Damn thing here. Where in the hell did that grinding song come from? Huh. 
trying to stay in the shallow in here. Some bright, vibrant green. A lot of uh, creek walking, but so far not as bad as uh, Twin Sisters at the moment. That's pretty high up right now, and it's like about, oh, I don't know, three feet above the ankles. Some parts of it about as tall as my crotch. Let's see here. I'm guessing right here. Uh, still right here. Let's see. Looks look like this mess right here. Now, from what I understand, to get to Cook Falls, it's approximately one mile from the towpath. So, I'm not sure how long I'm going to let you keep recording here for this stupid phone, but I might have to bring you back later. Zoomed in so I can get a shot. This is pretty, pretty gnarly back here, I can tell you that. Alright, I'm going to let you guys go. And, as you can see, this is beautiful lighting. Alright. Well... I made it this far up to a set of cascades. Believe me, it was a nightmare getting up in here. It really is. Beautiful shot right there. But, I still have to go up this way, and I don't exactly have much farther. I do know that I might be able to circumvent some of the downed trees and whatnot here. If I go this way, maybe. Follow the creek because that's where it's supposed to be at is following the creek. Oh. What the hell?
Well, I came across that. So, I don't know what the hell's there, or was there. Uh, the falls are up here somewhere. This has been one exhausting time to get here. Okay, I can do this. Oh, first glimpse, first glimpse, holy shit. Oh, my body is killing me. I have had to twist, turn, and everything else in between. Oh, my God, this is a nightmare to get here. But so far, well worth it, I think. One more obstacle. Well, my feet are slightly damp. I just have to try to follow the, le the, well, not the biggest ones. We don't want the big ones. We need the small ones here. Oh, shit. This is not going to do right here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This stuff is so fucking slippery. Oh shit. Take that off. Oh. oh my goodness. Definitely boots. Waterproof boots. And the best part about this falls, there was absolutely no graffiti anywhere. Of course again, you can't really get back here. Holy shit, it was hell. Let's see if I can't get past this mess here. Get on that side over here so I can shoot more of a circle here. There we go, that's a little better. Try not to get the sun. Yeah. Oh my god. Now to break out the camera. I'll get back to you later. I'm on my way back to the bike. And in this spot, with this mess of timber trash here, I just heard a gray horned owl. He's up there somewhere in that mess. I'm just not sure where. And I don't have time to hunt him down. I only have one call. Gotta get back to the bike. I can get out of here and go back up to the peninsula area. Well, this this is definitely a major butt kicking hike, and I strongly recommend mud boots. I have no idea where he's at. He's up there somewhere. Somewhere. I just don't see him. One call. That's all he gave. And back to me getting out of here. Okay, time to put you guys back again because I gotta do some major walking, jumping, and whatnot. That's a good 
foot and a half deep right there. And I gotta go this log over there, there, and continue on that way. Well, I made it out of that area. I'm now close to Boston store. Not quite, but close. Taking a quick break. Get him down. Having fun. Still having fun. All right. Get back to you later. Okay. Well, I made it to the peninsula alive and well. Hello, sir. Hello. Hey. Nice big old place here. So much fun. Fun, fun place. My tradition is going over here to Hershey's, if it's still there, yep, Fishers, not Hershey, Fishers, and get myself some ice cream. Hey, gentlemen. Well, I'm over here at Fisher's and I'm having myself a, <clears throat> a nice black cherry hot fudge sundae. Nice little town here. Skies, everything else. Alrighty, let me finish my ice cream and back out on the trail. Okay, I decided to go ahead and set up the tent. I forgot what time it was. Forgot to check. But I know it's about 2.30, going on 3 o'clock, so I'm just going to stop and rest and get some good night's sleep in. And then head on home in the morning. Well, I'm going to have some beef stroganoff. Bikes over there. And my tent explosion is in here. And I think after my dinner, I'm going to just go ahead and pack up and go on home. It's nice out here. It's comfortable. But my back and legs prefer a hammock. Look what we have here. A little leather back. how tiny that thing is. Let's take another picture of the eyeball right there. That works perfectly. Seeing him over here, picked him up, put him back over there. Then I got the video. Okay, continue on my way home. Yes, I'm on my way home. Me and a tent, we don't get along. Well, the tent is okay. It's the sleeping pad situation that doesn't work for my back okay let's see if we can't somehow get past or get close to this lovely deer up here before it runs away
already ran away. Beautiful night though. Hello? Very nice night. I just have to stop him so I can put the phone away now. Alright, this looks like a good spot. No one behind me. Okay. 